Aloha and welcome to another two minute teaching tip by BYU Hawaii Center for Learning and Teaching. In today's tip, I'm going to give you three ways, three easy ways to support your international students English language development as we move to remote learning in spring. Um, the first tip is to go to every course that you have. I would recommend doing this in every course to the settings button. And we are going to put English as the um, the language of use for Canvas. So here you can see this is the default here that the language is it's not set and the default is English, but students have the option to change it. And you might notice in your speed grader that often other languages come up. That's because your students are using Canvas in their native languages. So right here, if you pick US English or you can pick any variety you like, um, of English and just change that to English. And then you come down here and you push save, update course details. And what that does is that forces students to use Canvas in English. And the more exposure they have to English, the better. So that's tip number one, change your settings, force them to use Canvas in English. Tip number two is um, when you have a rubric that you use for an assignment, always include a language component to it, no matter how small that component is. So you can see here, I've got a rubric for this assignment here where students are um, writing a description of their city. It's just a paragraph to write a description based on response to a reading. But right here, um, editing for spelling and grammar, that's a part of the rubric. Three points is 10%. It's a small percentage. Um, so number two is anytime you have a rubric, no matter, um, make English a part of that rubric, no matter how large or small percentage, even one point, just say your rubric can be really simple. It can say, I understood your English or it was really difficult for me to understand your English. And they get one point or they get zero. It can be that easy for an assignment. My third tip is right here. Go in when you edit your assignment. Um, if they're submitting any kind of a written assignment, always, always, always turn on the plagiarism review. And it's right here. It defaults to none. This is where it usually is when you first see it. It says none. Um, turn it on and flip it to turn it in right there. Um, and then there's a bunch of other settings inside and you can play with those as you want. But what this does is this will give a turn it in score and you can see if students are copying text from other places, from other students. Um, you can even see if everybody uses it, you can see if they're copying, um, submitting their a single assignment to multiple classes for multiple teachers. It'll show you any copied text from the web or from any digital text that you might present in your class. If you are using digital text, they can copy and paste things into their answers. So Turnitin will help you to catch those instances where students might be copying things from the web. So forcing students to write in their own words is an excellent way to push students to increase their English proficiency. So there you go, those are the three tips. Force them to use English in Canvas, you make sure you include English as a part of any um, rubric that you put on and um, always turn, turn it in on for every assignment. Aloha and happy teaching.